Guys, Mistonium. The elusive Mistonium, the newest, the newest material of the living story from Jahai Bluffs. It's kind of elusive. It's a little bit annoying to get a hold of, but I have found two very, very reliable ways of getting it. One's better than the other, I'll argue. Um, one is actually extremely good. And the other is uh, is basically just uh, AFK work. So I'll give you I'll give you the two two different different versions. Um, the first way is just doing this heart. This heart at this uh, Souls Vendetta waypoint at the Pac Vanguard. It's extremely easy. All right, nice. It's extremely easy. You just you pick up a Brandon shard, you throw it at a testing dummy, and you do that for about a minute. And then you fill up the heart, easy peasy, and you're able to just simply buy the uh, Mistonium. Um, let me show you real quick. You can buy five a day per character. So if you're like me, and I've pl placed all 17 characters on this heart, you're getting quite a, quite a few Mistonium a day. Um, going through the entire armor collection for the Requiem armor, um, which requires what is it, 750? Uh, plus the 450 uh, for the collection itself. Yeah, it, it's quite a bit. But you complete this art, you go to War Master Steelburn, up here, and you easily, you buy five of these, which is about two, uh, two, 2.3k karma. Which for most people in this game isn't really a, a whole big deal, myself included. You buy that, you you exit, you leave to the next character, right? That's the easy way. Now there is a better way, actually. There is the try hard way, and I am happy to say, I am extremely happy to say that for the first time in this series of how to farm X material. I am actually going to recommend an event, and I'll tell you why. It's because of frequency. Simply because of frequency and the drop rate. So there's a, a particular type of event in this map. The, um, let me find them real quick. The uh, time bubble events, time rift, the mist rift events, which for every single succession, um, will give you, let me just jump in here. This is a very, very easy way of, uh, of finding them, by the way. So you go into this, here we go, right. We're in the, uh, we're in the tornado. We go to the max height. It's very easy to see all the different locations. It either spawns over here, it spawns over here, it spawns over here, or it spawns right down here. So either, let me point it out on the map, either up here, right here, down here or over here or here right but from the tornado from the top of the tornado you can always see where it spawns you can always get a glimpse and now I know it's spawning over there because I saw the bubble just a second ago we need to spot the pink bubble now every time you complete one of these events Wow stop messing me over tornado every time you complete one of these events it gives you five the same amount as with the heart five mistonium but that's not the that's not the best uh, best part. The best part is that once one event goes down, I'll, I'll just do a point over here. Once one event goes down, the next event pops. They are always up, always, or at least they're always forming. Now I'm an idiot here, and I'm oh my god. Like I said, they're always forming. Basically, they have 45 seconds to spawn. I'll go back to the I'll go back to the thing now. <laughs> they have forty five seconds to spawn, um, and either they manifest. There we go. See, so the one over there went down. The one that we saw off in the distance, and it went down somehow. The next one goes up. Now, see, forty five seconds time until the rift is fully formed. The moment that this forms. You'll get a bunch of enemies, and once you get the the Rift Stalker, 
that's basically it. That's the end of it. Also, you get a cool spectacle of Krakatorik right here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that Krakatorik. We defeat the enemies. Now, the issue with this, the only issue with this, with this event, is that, um, well, there's actually two. One is, it's, it scales insanely. Which is why I'm kind of, kind of, I don't know if it's a really good idea to share, share this, uh, entire, in, like, cause, it doesn't take more than four people to scale this event beyond, uh, really great completion. Um, four people, and you spawn, see, alright, here's the perfect one. We get a Rift Stalker, a veteran Rift Stalker, that's what we want. Boom, complete. We get five lumps of Mistonium, it's done. The next event is already forming. Alright, the issue is, if you have four people, uh, or more than four people, you start to get elites. If you have five people, you get several groups of elites. And that's where it starts to get uh, get annoying because these elites aren't, they're, they're elites by name, but their health bar is champion or legendary. I genuinely don't know. They're, they're way, way, way too powerful for just five, uh, five people. Um, not to, not too powerful to take down, but just too powerful for it to be a, a smooth experience. Anyhow, the event went down. We got five five lumps of uh, of mistonium. We can now go to the tornado again and look for the next event. And out of habit here, see, an active disturbance has been detected. I'm just gonna look over here real quick. With the way that the tornado works, it's very easy to just bop back and forth from um, from these different events. Uh, da -da -da -dum. There it is. I saw it through the, <laughs> I saw it through the, uh, the missing textures here. Anyway, so you, you basically just want to follow these. You basically just want to follow these different events. Time until the rift forms. Now, the second issue with these is that there's also a uh, diminishing returns. <clears throat> um, there's a diminishing return. Uh, on these you will always get five But you can only get that five times on one character before you start hitting uh, diminishing return um, Right here we go next one So after you've gotten after you've done five events four or five events You want to swap character and you just want to keep going you can do this literally all day. It never stops now that's a farm I can get behind. That's a farm I can get behind. It, you can put however much uh, effort into it. The event is always up. It's always available. You can all, no matter your schedule, you can always do this. For the first time ever in a living story map, the best way to farm is act is it doing events. And I'm being an idiot here and dying. Veteran. Easy. Boom, another five. That's ten misdonium. Easy peasy. Easy peasy squeezy lemons. You can keep doing this over and over again. And that the misdonium is not the only thing that you're getting. Because you're also getting a ton of karmic retribution. Karma. Here's thirty-eight thousand. And you can do, you can do that all day all day. Fly into your tornado, spot a time warp in the environment, go and get your Mistonium. Oh right, wrong. Um that's how I finished my collection. Just now. <laughs> right. So I hope uh, I hope you enjoy that. I hope you guys uh, will uh, will definitely take advantage of that because it's it might be a little bit of effort, but I guarantee you, it is the most effective way that you will that you will find in this map of getting Mistonium. It's on point. Right. Happy farming. <laughs>